Yeah, Galway had made it eight wins from eight and they climbed, they stay top of the first division after a 4 0 win against Wexford. Um, I suppose like Wexford started the game quite decent, their defense was quite good. Um, Galway took a while to get into the game, they had an effort after four minutes. Um, Ed McCarthy fired his shot over the over the crossbar just on the four minute mark. And Wexford from this point seemed to keep Galway back uh, to just set pieces and shots from uh, far out. Uh, it took until the 47th minute. Uh, Wexford gave away a silly penalty on the stroke of half time. And David Hurley stood up, took the penalty, tucked it away into the bottom right hand corner. A real kick in the teeth to Wexford, who were defended brilliantly in the first half. And Galway United went in one up at half time. Wexford came out in the second half. And to be fair to them, they pushed Galway back. They were on the front foot. They looked like they were going to get the equalizer. And Francie Lomboto on the counter-attack uh, just broke at pace, got in behind Wexford. He had his shot. It was well saved by the Wexford goalkeeper, Heffernan, but the ball just fell to Lomboto's feet again. He chipped it over Heffernan, who had made a good save just seconds before this, and made it 2-0 to go away on 53 minutes. This really killed uh, Wexford's uh, chance of a fight back. They just looked really upset and just disappointed at this point. And Galway done what Galway have done all season. They just saw the game. They killed the game. They brought on loads of subs. Darren Clark came off the bench, and in the 76th minute, he scored a brilliant counter-attack goal again. Uh, he took the ball nicely into the bottom right-hand corner, cutting in from the left-hand side. Keeper could have done better, but it wasn't to be. Uh, that would go with 3-0 up after 76 minutes, and really late on, Vincent Borden continued his great goal-scoring form. A uh, ball got whipped into the box, bet two or three players, no one got a touch onto it, and he had an easy tap in at the back post to make it 4-0 to go away after 80 minutes. It could have got worse. Uh, Wexford gave away another penalty in the 87th minute. Uh, David Hurley stopped, stepped up again to take it, but it was well saved again by Charlie Heffernan, who had a good game, to be fair to him. He was quite good in goal. But unfortunately for Wexford, it wasn't to be, and Galway have gone eight wins from eight 